I like to do a small test. And this test is to see how you react to the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this test is called the driving test. The driving test is as follows. I want you to imagine you're a driver in the car. You're all by yourself. You've parallel parked your car and you're reversing out. So everyone get with me right now inshallah. You get into your car, you're in the driver's seat. You put your seatbelt on. You look into the rear view mirror and there's nothing there. You look into the passenger side mirror and there's nothing there. You put your foot on the clutch, you put it in reverse and you're slowly, slowly, slowly backing out. You just hit something. What was the first word that came to your mouth? <laughs> For a lot of people, it's a four letter word that they wouldn't say in front of their parents. But the reality of this situation is, imagine if you died on that word. Imagine if you died on that word. It was a truck, it came and hit you, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to take you away at that time. That was the word that you would have died upon. And this is how you see how you react to the qadr of Allah. This is just a make-believe test of you're doing in the masjid. Far from reality. But it happens. People cross the street every day, they get hit by a car. People are driving, they get hit by trucks. People go to sleep at night and they just pass away. So you always want to pay attention very closely to what the last action that you do is. If you have the ability to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then that is what you want to strive for. So that was the test. How do you react to the qadr of Allah? You now know where you stand.